Y'all can't really tell, but look at all that. All that pollen. needs a wash too but I don't have much time to do that right now I'm not taking that one out I'm taking this one out today so let's get to washing Away a half pound of rice. What are you doing? You want the rice? No! Just shut up. <laughs> Wait, just save that shit. Yes, dude. <laughs> 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 to dry it. It's alright. Four or five? About? Yeah. Hey, no, feel the oh. seat, though. I'm driven. That seat look comfy. <laughs> Don't tempt him with a good time. Man, All right now. So aggressive. Stand with clutch heavy. <laughs> motivation to finish the Mustang. Oh, this is, this is already enough right here. <laughs> and stick shift too. Just what he wants. This supercharged. I hear. It drives so smooth. I know, right? I can feel it. my seat y'all so smooth oh it's got two step it's got two step <laughs> oh damn it there's a cop there hide get down hopefully, <laughs> hopefully the cop did not see me no nah. <laughs> oh he's turning left he better be making a fucking u-turn that ass cause I'm like I'm over here like laying like this. Oh he got back on the interstate. I bet. This thing drives hella smooth and I'm not even driving. I can't tell if 
I went into the correct gear. So this used to be a V6 automatic. That is insane. in that one. <laughs> You talking way too loud. Too. <laughs> hey, brothers. Hey, brothers. Yes, sir. <laughs> You're such you live on the rock. Whoa, rock. what is that, bro? You live on the rock. Stay brother too. Stay. They brother run your ass over. Oh, God. I got a poop. Hey, yo. Hey. Yes! <laughs> you look like 
back in. What is going on? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, what? What is that? Oh, dude, what, what is going what is on? That? Hey, yo. Hold on. Dab me up again. Hi, guys. Hi. Sheesh. It's your turn. You, got, you see the boots? You don't see the boots? Hey, fuck oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> that is up now. <laughs> that footwork. Right. Believe it. He, he wild, bro. What happens? He wild. Tell him somebody take that down. Oh, I'm gonna have to cut that out. Okay, yeah, let them know. <laughs> let them know. David is a predator. What do you mean? <laughs> you was gonna do what to her diaper? <laughs> what are you talking? What is the happening? Woman just snuck up on me. The, oh, the older woman. Yeah. What's wrong with it? What's wrong with her? What's wrong with it? What you I mean? didn't say anything. What happened? You say you did. That is outrageous. <laughs> <laughs> We are on to the next day. We're gonna do a wrap on a car today. Can't wait to show y'all the before and after. I'm gonna try to get as much as the process in this video because I just need content, y'all. I really do. Like, I need to record stuff. So, for wrap, for this wrap, we're gonna be needing a lot of the knifeless tape. And of course, gloves, magnets, squeegees, the vinyl cutter, a little knife, Sharpie, alcohol to clean the surface, Dawn dish soap, and diluted with water also to clean the surface. Here are some tucking tools. We're gonna order more. Some scissors just in case, and maybe some of this, and then some microfiber towels to clean up a little bit, but. Yeah, I'm gonna show you all the before and then the process during and then the after. It's kind of like a livery, so we're gonna have to like make sure all the measurements are perfect with the knifeless tape and everything. So that should be fun. This project's probably gonna take us all day. Right now it's like 11.30 or so in the morning. We'll see what time we finish. Guys, so we unpacked the wrap from the box or whatever. We got the orange, yellow, and red. So it's gonna be like a little livery. Right. Left. Yes. So now we're just waiting on him to pull up and then we'll get to getting some before pictures, before videos, cleaning it up, prepping it, and then we're gonna get started. Does the duct tape come on? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Right, we're gonna wrap this 8-6. We're getting rid of the tail lights. We wiped down the rear bumper already. So we can start putting the red all in the rear bumper. Got it nice and clean. There are some paint imperfections on this side, but that's not the issue right now. Something's holding it right there. Let's pull it. So yeah, I'll update y'all. There we go. All right, guys, we got the red glassed out a little bit. And now we gotta squeegee it out. And then, you know, start cutting it to where you start whoa, to see whoa, it. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> there's a whole, there's a bunch of bees out here, but hopefully we don't get stung. So yeah, here it is, y'all. All right, this is what it's looking like. We better start, you know, cutting a little bit. We did like an inlay there, cutting it up. It laid down really, really good today. This is wrap from 3M. Dan said it was like a thinner material and it does feel way thinner and it like, it's very easy to use. So if y'all looking for some wrap that's easy to use, go with 3M. But me and Dan were talking about, it looks more like 3M and you said Avery, right? Yeah. Avery, um, they have, you know, easy wrap to work with and everything, but it looks like wrap. And, and other brands have wrap that look just like paint. So, yeah, I guess it depends on what y'all prefer. But this is like a livery, so it won't be much. It will just be this and this whole side part on the other side as well. 
but it's going good. My butt crack ain't showing, is it? I gotta cut that out. <laughs> <laughs> your, your whole body ain't in the video. Oh. All right, guys, we're cutting this piece out. Gotta make sure it's nice and straight. Yeah, man, what's your strip bitch in there? <laughs> this is mad satisfying. Yep. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, so we pop the tail light in the back to see, like, you know, where it, it stops. And it's looking good so far. Obviously, this piece we're gonna take off because we still gotta put another piece there and then the trunk. But we're getting there, we're getting there. We're starting to cut this piece out this way. And probably after we lay all of this down, we're gonna take a lunch break. It's two o'clock right now, and yeah, we're supposed to be on lunch thirty minutes ago. Yeah, we were supposed to be on lunch thirty minutes ago, but we're trying to knock this out, and then that way we'll just come back and like do these sides and you know some other key details there. But it's looking really good. We're I excited. I want to send him a picture, but I kind of want to just surprise him with it. Yeah, don't also. don't do that yet. I think we should surprise him, and maybe I'll record you know the reaction, but. Probably not, you'll probably forget. <laughs> I probably will forget. <laughs> Y'all know me, I forget stuff, but it's looking good. All right guys, so we're doing the yellow now. We already laid the cutting tape and everything, so obviously y'all see it's like nicely cut and stuff, so. Make sure it's nice and straight. And then we gotta put the orange over here. We'll leave like that gap right here open and then the orange, about the same size of that. And then another gap like that, and then the red. So that's cool beans, cool beans. We used a, <laughs> we used a rubber wheel to start taking the, this adhesive off. And we never knew it would work that great. And it, it's been working great. We took it off of this. Yeah, it worked great till the drill died. Yeah. So this is like just scuffed up paint that was already there. But we took the all the tape off that. So it's nice and clean. We gotta get that wrapped as well. Right now we're laying the orange. We got the top tr part of the trunk done. We're two piecing it because it's better to two piece it instead of overstretching material. Like just like we two piece this rear bumper. Knifeless tape right here. And then you know, cut it off, and then we did that inlay there, so definitely it looks great. All right, guys, now we're sanding this ducktail a little bit since y'all see it's a little rough there. I'm sanding it with a 60 to see how that's feeling. So far, it's feeling pretty smooth, so I'll continue to sand that down. All right, so we pretty much got this side done. We just need to do that bottom part where the side skirt is at with the yellow. And I guess the piece of orange there, right? Yeah. Yeah, so we got that. And we did the same thing like we did in the EK. We put our custom logo there. And then we'll obviously wrap over it and you will kind of see it in the wrap. So it'll look nice. Look at that before. And then obviously the side is not completely, completely done, but after. It's gonna look nice, it's gonna catch everybody's eye. You got something in his eye. <laughs> but yeah. All right, we put it in because the sun is already setting. It's about six something. Seven. Seven, seven o'clock. And you already know we started at 12, so. As y'all yeah, can see, yeah, we had to go buy that rubber tool uh, attachment and stuff. But we're laying the cutting tape here because we're going to two piece this as well. Because why are you going to want to overstretch something like this when you can just Where do we put the skizzers? <laughs> you just had them, they're over here, they're over here. but um, yeah, and we were just talking about a carbon little duck, carbon duck tail. yeah carbon duck tail would look sick but we're gonna do it in red hopefully we have enough material 
Hopefully that's enough for this top part. It looks like it could be, but you never know. We better start a rant here, y'all. So We? You mean you? <laughs> no, and you agreeing to it. Oh, I thought you were talking about something else. <laughs> start over. Start over. I gonna so we're going to start a rant on this knifeless tape. Since we think it's like the only brand out there that does it. 3M. Y'all need to do better with this knifeless tape because it's just like... It's crunching up. Yeah. Kinda. I don't know how to explain it. It's just... It's dookie flakes. Yeah, it's dookie flakes. Like, y'all need to upgrade y'all's product. Like, the knife part cuts nice, but it's just the little plastic part around it. The, the actual tape part? Yeah, the actual tape part. It sucks at sticking. And then it just messes the whole cut up sometimes if you don't, like, use enough tension or whatever. And it's kind of whack. But we're on the other side now. After this, we're going to do the side skirts. We ended up seeing that we don't have enough red for yeah, the... we got to order some more. Yeah, we got to order some more, but luckily he can rock it like this for a while while we order that. And it should get here in a few days. And then we can get that wrap for him and put, you know, double-sided tape on there and stick it on there well. So, yeah. All right, yo, we got the logo on there. Now we gotta do the little side skirt pieces. And then we should be done for the day. Like I said, we still gotta order more red for the ducktail. And then we gotta do, you know, that little orange piece and then the rest of that yellow. I just bolted on the other tail light. So it looks really, really good. Kinda makes it look aggressive. I like it. But I can't wait to see it with that on already because it'll look, it'll complete the look completely. And we can ask him too if he wants carbon That's fiber. What I was just saying. Yeah. Carbon fiber or that same color. We'll show him, obviously, when he gets here, like put it on there and show him what it looks like. Yeah. And maybe he'll want the carbon because I think with carbon it'll look pretty nice. All right, guys. So this is what we're talking about right here. We ripped the knifeless. You you pulled the knifeless tape and all instead of doing instead of coming apart like it's supposed to, it pulls this back with it, or like all the way down and just rips the wrap. Instead of slicing through it, it just rips it. Yeah. So I've been having to like get this piece separated from this before I pull it. Yeah, it's freaking ridiculous. Three M, step it up, man. Yeah. All right. So now he's trying to separate that knife part of the thing the actual cutting part yeah so let's see if it happens or not <sighs> it just ripped it right there and i haven't even fucking pulled it y'all it's like nine o'clock now <laughs> <laughs> we're still on it Literally, we went to... It's only because we pretty much wasted two hours fucking trying to find that tool. And it didn't... Honestly, it did not feel that long, y'all. Like, no, literally... It felt like 30 minutes. We went to lunch. I don't know at what time, but we were like, okay, we should be back by 3.30. It was 2.30. Yeah, it 2 was 2.30, so we should be back by 3.30. We went, pick up food, ate, and then went to his house, pick up some um, tools. And, and then we were looking for that rubber wheel, so we went to Lowe's, but it was pretty quick trip at Lowe's and then we went to O'Reilly's and that's where we found it and we bought it and then we came here and all of a sudden it was like 4 30 almost yeah somewhere around that time we were just well, like well we Yo. spent 15 20 minutes at the most eating yeah I don't know time just be fine fast especially when you go on a little lunch break yeah a little lunch break <laughs> It was a little lunch break. It was fucking quick. I... The time just flew by so fast. Yeah. But we're still waiting on him to pull up to come see it or whatever. Scoop his car up. Yeah, and then we're going to show him that part about the wing. If he's going to want carbon or the red so we can order that and put it on soon so it can be like the completed look. So 
I didn't get to record an outro for this video. I really suck at filming outros, but he ended up loving the rap. Um, we're still gonna be waiting on the material to get here. Usually it takes almost a week to get here and then we gotta wrap the duck tail, of course. But that is basically the look he was going for. Um, if y'all have any questions, feel free to comment down below, like, and subscribe this video. I will be doing more videos on cards we wrap in the future. We got a couple set up these next few weeks, so I'm gonna probably start posting almost every week. I hope you guys liked it. And I also want to say that I appreciate everyone's kind comments in the previous videos and y'all were all saying I should continue making videos. At first I was doubting myself about like my videos. I felt like I wasn't going to get much attention but it has been the past few days and I really appreciate every single one of you guys. Like I said, we're not going to gatekeep anything, and if y'all have any questions or if y'all have any advice to give on anything, feel free to comment it down below. Thank y'all so much for watching.